Welcome to Statistics. We begin by understanding the key concepts and terms that we usually encounter in this course. By simply solving the grades or by organizing the data that we collect from the students, we use statistics. Statistics is the study of how to collect, organize, analyze, and interpret numerical information from data. Data collection such as survey, data organization such as construction of table and pie charts, data analysis such as the calculation of the average grade, interpretation such as finding out if a student will pass the subject or not. All of these involve statistics. That is why let us not be intimidated because for sure you will appreciate the application of the statistical measures that you will be learning this semester. Variable is one of the common terms that we use in this course. Variable is a characteristic of the individual to be measured or observed. If I ask you to describe your students, what are their characteristics? You may say, for example, that the students may be described by their sex, age, the high school where they graduated from. All of these are examples of variables. These are characteristics of individuals. Variables may be classified as quantitative or qualitative. A quantitative variable has a value or numerical measurement for which operations such as addition or averaging make sense. Student's grade is an example of a quantitative variable. A qualitative variable, on the other hand, describes an individual by placing the individual into a category or group such as male or female. Hence, we say that sex is a qualitative variable. Color is also a qualitative variable. We can have um, pink, blue, white as categories for the variable color. We collect data from population or sample. In population data, the data are from every individual of interest. How large is the population? Well, it depends upon how you define it. The population may involve the whole country. The population may just simply be a class of students. Determination of the population is relative. In sample data, the data are from only some of the individuals of interest. That is, we only consider a subset of the population. If your population is the entire uh, third year level students, then sample may contain one section of students. If you will collect data from the population, then the numerical measure that you will get from the population is what you call a parameter. Again, a parameter is a numerical measure that describes an aspect of a population. On the other hand, a statistic is a numerical measure that describes an aspect of a sample. For example, if I am going to solve for the average grade of the population, say all third year students, then this average grade will serve as the parameter. If I am going to solve for the average grade of one section, which serves as a sample, then the resulting value will now be considered as a statistic. It's also important to note the levels of measurement of the variables. A variable may be nominal, ordinal, or scale. Scale variables may either be interval or ratio. The nominal level of measurement applies to data that consists of names, labels, or categories. There are no implied criteria by which the data can be ordered from smallest to largest. Can you give an example? Well, color is an example of a nominal variable. The ordinal level of measurement applies to data that can be arranged in order. The keyword is order. However, differences between data values either cannot be determined or are meaningless. The interval level of measurement applies to data that can be arranged in order. In addition, differences between data values are meaningful. The ratio level of measurement applies to data that can be arranged in order, just like the interval data. In addition, both differences between 
data values and ratios of data values are meaningful. Data at the ratio level have a true zero. It means that if you have a zero value, it signifies the absence of that characteristic. An example of a ratio variable is height. If your height is zero centimeter, it means that you do not have height at all. If your weight is zero, hmm, do you have weight? Of course not. But if your temperature is zero degrees Celsius, it does not mean that you do not have temperature, right? So zero degrees Celsius does not signify the absence of temperature. We even have negative uh, degree Celsius for temperature. Um, that is why temperature in degree Celsius is an example of interval level of measurement. Remember that these levels of measurement will be useful later on in determining the appropriate statistical tool for your analysis. These are the important concepts and terms that you need to master so that in the succeeding units, you will easily understand our discussion.